This is it's a Baltic Sea in northern and Adriatic Sea in south and Black Sea in east. It's in the composition of the 12 uh, EU members, 12, um, 12 countries. Our uh, aim is to, uh, to raise uh, the level of their economic route. We are open also to uh, uh, in cooperation with others and also with, with India as well. India is a key partner uh, in implementing EU's uh, uh, Indo-Pacific strategy. This is initiative is a good platform how we can work together. And it is not, uh, uh, we are not uh, rival to some countries, but we are inclusive. Russia should, uh, without delay, to remove from Ukraine uh, territorially integrity uh, of Ukraine in its uh, internationally recognized uh, borders. We have to respect uh, rules-based uh, uh, order uh, if we wa wa want to, to work together. Welcome to the Ricina Ideas Pod. My name is Tara Verma. I'm a visiting fellow at the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C. And I'm very pleased to welcome in Delhi uh, the Croatian Minister for European and Foreign Affairs, Mr. Gordon Ramdan. Welcome. And thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having invited me. We wanted to go through a number of questions today. Uh, typically, the idea of um, a new European solidarity that has emerged. And I wanted to ask you how you think the Three Seas Initiative, which is not so well known here, how do you think this initiative contributes to this idea of European solidarity and European cohesion? Um, so, Europe, the Three Seas Initiative is an uh, affirmative uh, and positive uh, Initiative uh, established 2016. Uh, our former president, uh, Madam President, she was co-founder together with the Polish uh, president. Um, it is actually the, the central goal of their uh, initiative, j j just to lowering the differences uh, in economy between the Western and Central and Eastern European uh, 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 countries, and. Uh, uh, having in mind that uh, all the countries in the Central and uh, uh, Eastern Europe are well connected and well integrated uh, with with West, but however, what remains, uh, there is an, uh, um, their uh, um, lack lack of their connectivity from uh, on north to south uh, axis. And uh, we just recognize three very important sectors just to improve uh, the to, uh, economy and uh, growth uh, of economy uh, with our digital transformation, uh, security, uh, the um, energy diversification, and of course, and, uh, uh, traffic infrastructure. And it was seven year, uh, year, years ago, and now has proven that this initiative is really in this very challenging and during time very, very important. And Croatia contribute, uh, uh, contribute with its uh, energy and uh, security. Uh, we opened the LNG terminal on Island Kirk as of 1st January 2021 and with a 2.9 BCM uh, capacity and bearing in mind right now the situation and uh, the crisis and the Russian aggression on Ukraine, we decided just not to double up to 6.9. And Croatia is about to be an uh, energy hub. Uh, we have uh, capacities, we have potentials and uh, so we see that uh, uh, not only the European countries around and also there are others like uh, USA, uh, Germany, France, United K uh, Kingdom and Australia and Japan as well, Indonesia, uh, they want to support the goals of the Three Cs initiative. So maybe for our viewers, could you tell us what are the three Cs that are concerned by this initiative and how many countries of the European Union are members of it? <laughs> three Cs is the Baltic Sea in northern and Adriatic Sea in south and Black Sea in east. It's in the composition of the 12 uh, EU members, 12, um, 12 countries. And uh, as I said, just uh, our aim is to, uh, to raise uh, the level of their economic route at the same level like uh, their, we have in, in the Western 
Europe. So it's around the idea of prosperity, connectivity it, that it, is supposed it's to pro bring pros prosperity. Yes, prosperity. And uh, so we recognize that there are vital uh, sectors which are very important for our citizens, for U Europe. Uh, and we are open also to uh, uh, in cooperation with others and also with, with India as well, as I said today and uh, uh, told to my counterpart uh, uh, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So it's just an, uh, this open-ended invitation uh, to support it, although uh, it's initiative just in, uh, on, on 12 countries in the European Union. There was a controversy at some point about the initiative. Could you maybe explain to us what the controversy was about and how the response came uh, from the, the Tracy's uh, initiative group? Yes, despite uh, various geopolitical, uh, actually, interpretation of the three and uh, CC initiative, and uh, of course, the investment gap uh, between the West and uh, all the new uh, EU countries uh, remains evident. And uh, it is really something that uh, there is not room for any misinterpretation. Uh, we would like to enhance uh, the traffic infrastructure. Connectivity is very important uh, from northern on the north-south axis. Uh, we would like to run uh, energy diversification. It's an, now the, 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 the top, the, the main issue, uh, not only in European Union, but also worldwide. Uh, it's very important uh, the phasing out our dependency on Russian oil and uh, uh, oil and, and gas. It it remains key, and uh, digital inf transformation. It's something that connected all of us, not only in the three C's initiative, but three C's initiative is a good platform how we can work together, and it is not uh, uh, we are not uh, rival some countries but we are inclusive we are inclusive in this regard that so we want to just uh, to raise this level and uh, it's about of cohesion policy and of course the other, other sectors of the uh, of the common interest like agriculture and others so do you see other countries in the EU trying to replicate this model of regional cooperation uh, of course their discussion uh, whether we can just uh, include other countries uh, Ukraine, for example, uh, became their uh, partner, but if you just uh, would include one country, there is president also for other countries. So far, it's just not 12 EU members. Uh, but of course, we are ready and we are pro project-oriented and, uh, and we, we offer so many possibilities in such uh, fields of their uh, cooperation and various cooperation that um, for also such countries. You've mentioned the war in Ukraine and the necessity to reduce the dependency on Russian oil and gas several times already. What would you say the response uh, of the Three Seas Initiative was to the, the beginning of the war in Ukraine? So first of all, uh, uh, the um, uh, countries in the Three Seas Initiative is also there at the same time the, the members of the European Union and uh, the members of the of nato more of more more most of them however and we have really an, a a great responsibility of course among the european union and through their um, global getaway getaway strategy is very very important uh, strategy strategy and framework of their cooperation uh, with with others and uh, we don't see uh, that the war in Ukraine is the war. It's an aggression, and we define it as aggression. Uh, newly, we adopted in, the, in New York, uh, in the General Assembly, the uh, resolution on the principles uh, based on comprehensive and uh, just and uh, lasting peace. 149 uh, countries and, uh, signed uh, this resolution. Uh, this resolution means, resolution means that uh, Russia should, uh, without delay, to remove from Ukraine uh, territorial integrity uh, of Ukraine in its uh, international recognized uh, borders, borders. And uh, Russia uh, started the war, and uh, it's only Russia uh, who just uh, could stop the war and remove its uh, forces from Ukraine. 
Otherwise, we have the demise of the world, world order. If, if we want to have a world together, and we have to keep on, uh, on, the, on the rules. Uh, so we are just witness, witnessing that uh, this uh, rule, rules-based order, uh, it's weakened, it's destabilized. And we have to respect uh, a rules-based uh, uh, order uh, if we wa want to, to work together. The U.S. has been quite involved in the Three Seas Initiative as well. Could you detail what the role of the U.S. is in this? The uh, U.S. is the stronger, stronger supporter of this uh, uh, initiative. And um, once on the one hand, we have this initiative, and on the other, we have also the, the, the funds uh, project-oriented uh, um, so initiative among the, the fund. And uh, every country which has a uh, project uh, in this and the three uh, fields, energy, uh, traffic infrastructure, and digital transformation could apply for a project. Uh, so there, so far as I know, the Americans, they, um, they um, paid uh, 300, uh, invested 300 million uh, American dollars. And it's also up to the countries also to participate with uh, the least uh, 20 million euros. So if you want just uh, to, to keep it uh, this uh, actively on uh, uh, this uh, three C's initiative, it must be uh, this three, uh, three C's initiative should not, uh, should not be just in a, in a written form. We have to see the, the results, the outcomes and, uh, from this uh, three C's initiative. And uh, we would like to, uh, to connect um, uh, LNG terminal from Croatia and with a place in in in, in Poland, uh, I cannot remember the the, the 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 place, but it is something concrete. And there are so railway uh, projects. Uh, for example, every country has an interest. Croatia, having in mind that Croatia is touristic oriented country, and that all the it's also car destination for for these uh, countries. Poland, Baltic states, and so on. We would like just not to strengthen, to enhance our uh, traffic infrastructure. The good news that Croatia is in a already in Schengen zone, so the last obstacle was removed. We are now introduced euro as a currency, European currency. So Croatia is in a really open. And uh, if we just in set on uh, in I don't know in uh, in Stockholm and. Uh, you can just uh, come uh, without uh, delay and s stop over somewhere uh, just uh, to, the, to the borders. Just before we were doing this, you were on a panel, um, a, pl a panel in the plenary about the eastern shift in EU politics. And so we were talking about this new geopolitical Europe, a Europe with new ambitions. Sitting here in New Delhi, I have to ask you to end this discussion. What do, how do you see Croatia's engagement in, in the Indo-Pacific with this new European will to do more? Very well, and uh, I, I said that uh, through this uh, global uh, gateway and uh, uh, strategy, it's in a really in a concrete uh, framework, and through uh, Croatia intends to be part of and to be linked with uh, set countries. And uh, also this uh, uh, topic uh, team, I spoke with my uh, colleague, the Indian uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who is also interested in um, in in doing or uh, to, to uh, just uh, to co cooperate in this initiative, of course, and uh, we see India as a key partner uh, in implementing EU's uh, uh, Indo-Pacific strategy. Of course, there are many there are many similarities sort of with with the India India's Indo-Pacific Oceans uh, initiative as well. So it will be, uh, it will be de definitely uh, be possible to, to work uh, together for the region's uh, stability, security, prosperity, and uh, sustainable development. And um, my country, Croatia, recognized this political, economic, uh, and uh, historical, uh, of course, differences of Indo-Pacific uh, countries. Uh, we respect history, uh, different experience, but however, we want uh, to avoid further polarization uh, in, in the region.
in the interest of their common uh, society. Thank you, Minister, for joining us at the Raisina Ideas Pod. Thank I thank you, you. Thank you very much. Thank you.